October 1st was National Day of the PRC, and on that day, the People's Liberation Army unleashed 38 warplanes into Taiwan's Southwest Air Defense Identification Zone. On the following day, it set a new record by sending 39 aircraft. This time, some of the planes even entered the island's southeast, a DIZ. Both times, the intruders were met with Taiwan's fighter jets, which drove them away. In an interview over the weekend, U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks said the U.S. had a significant amount of capability in the region to tamp down any military threats from China. On China's National Day, the PLA didn't take the day off. Instead, it stepped up its incursion into Taiwan. On October 1st, it sent 38 warplanes into Taiwan's southwest ADIZ, marking a single-day high. On the following day, it upped its aggression with 39 warplanes, setting a record for the largest number of daily sorties. Something we watch very carefully, the Indo-Pacific Command in Hawaii, you're, you're watching it day to day. We have a significant amount of capability forward in the region um, to tamp down any such um, potential. Attention, this is a U.S. military aircraft conducting lawful operations with due regard in international airspace. The Pentagon did put its money where its mouth is. As the PLA continued its saber rattling, the U.S. made its presence known by sending its warplanes to the vicinity, signaling to Beijing that peace in the Taiwan Strait is not to be rattled. Central to that is helping the Taiwanese with their self-defense capabilities. That's really important. The Taiwanese, their ability to defend themselves effectively is a game changer in terms of that deterrent calculus for China. In response, Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs posted this on Twitter. October 1st wasn't a good day. The PLA Air Force flew 38 warplanes into Taiwan's ADIZ, threatening, of course. It's strange the PRC doesn't bother faking excuses anymore. The post was signed JW, which are the initials of Minister Joseph Wu. China has remained hawkish, upsetting peace in the region and acting like a bully, like forcing the removal of our flag at a recent free diving contest. These actions have only caused the world and the international community to despise China more and more. China wants to break out of the first island chain, and the U.S. wants to suppress the CCP's buildup in the first island chain. This is a tug of war between bridge head and outpost with pressure from the U.S. military and the attempt to break out by the CCP. And Taiwan happens to be in the middle in a very important geostrategic location. Chang further observed that the U.S. will rally its allies to exert pressure on China and that the Taiwan Strait has become a flashpoint in the U.S.-China military jousting that continues to heat up.